I bought a new set of chains for the 656 and today I'm going to put them on using a method that I saw on YouTube that looks a lot easier. I got to clean out the cow barn in the next thaw so I'm going to get her all ready to go. First we'll get one out and lay her out and see what we're working with. These are what the manufacturer calls duo tire change. They kind of have an H shape to keep the chains from winding up down in between the lugs of the tire. I got to go up and get the tractor and we'll try to put them on. Notice I said try. I haven't done this since I was a kid with my grandfather, except for putting the little chains on the Super A, which are a snap compared to a tractor with large tires. So in this video, we're kind of seeing how it goes. Now on one end these tire chains have the fasteners which hook one end of the chain to the other once you get it on the wheel and then they've got these U-bolts that hook the H pattern together when you get it hooked up. On the opposite end you've just got chain. You know putting chains on the tractor I want to make sure that these foldovers on the end of these chains are facing out from the tire so they don't dig into the tire when they're on. The old method that I learned is once you get the chains laid out you back the tractor over to the middle of the chain and then you wrap both ends of the chain up but the chains are heavy when you're pulling them up so this method that I saw in another channel and I'll put a link to the video down in the video description is this. First you tie a piece of baling twine onto the end of the chain on one side of it and then you run it through the wheel up toward the top of the wheel and pull that end of the chain up and catch the other side chain and tie that on just as tight as you can so both sides are up. Now this chain needs to be flipped over because it's facing the wrong way. Do the same thing to this chain. Now this is the fun part. Hopefully we're just going to drive the tractor ahead and the chains will work themselves onto the tires. We'll see. Well that worked pretty good. They rolled right up onto it without any heavy lifting. Now I've got to fasten the ends of the chains together. And to do that, just side by side, I'll cut this chain and everything's going to fall down I'm afraid. Draw it up as much as I can and hook it and I can tighten it more when I get the other side tightened and we see how it sits. Now for the outside. Hook that up too. It doesn't look like I got a lot of extra chain here. In fact, it looks like I got none. I might be able to get another link out of this. Maybe two even. Let's see if we can tighten this one up at all. Now we got to hook up these mid chains. this up now we just do the same with the other one Now the last thing I got to do before I wire everything tight is put these tensioners on. The seller recommended these. I'm kind of doubtful whether they're needed or not, but I'm going to put them on because I got them. So 
Seems pretty tight. Again, I don't really think this is needed, but I got it, so I'm putting it on. Probably when I take them off for the spring, <laughs> this will stay up in the barn for the rest of my life. We'll see. Last thing to do is to wire all these binders so that we don't have them coming loose. And I'm gonna wire this chain up in here too. Well, let's see what kind of traction she gets. I'm gonna go in some areas that I know are slippery where I'd slip and slide around with it before. That was very easy, much easier than the method I learned when I was a kid. Again, the link to the original video is in the video description. Check it out, it's a pretty small channel, but it was a great tip. You'll be seeing this tractor at work pretty soon in an upcoming video when I clean out the cattle barns and hopefully my traction will be a lot better. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.